Today, we are less than 50 days away from COP27, in a year when the focus on the global climate agenda can easily slip away under the pressure of other competing priorities, science tells us that we do not only need to hold tight to our commitments, but we need to do more, demonstrate further ambition, and act swifter and more decisively. Unfortunately, there is a growing sense that the Paris temperature goal is slipping away. The adaptation gap is rapidly growing Climate finance is significantly lower than needs and expectations. Meanwhile, loss and damage is becoming a recurrent reality that reminds us of the critical need for robust and additional action and support. The heartbreaking scenes from Pakistan and the untold suffering of tens of thousands of victims of this climate calamity, the unprecedented rise in temperature and forest fires in Europe and the United States, all confirm that there is no plan B and that the last U-turn is only a few kilometers away. There is no excuse for allowing the devastating Pakistani floods or the Adai cyclone of southern Africa or the shrinking shores of many islands and mainlands to become a regular feature on our news bars. At COP27, the COP of implementation, I urge all governments and stakeholders to double up their efforts and listen to the millions of people calling for an urgent and qualitative response to the climate emergency. As we inch closer to COP27, I urge all countries that have not done so to update their NDCs, gear their development towards a green, low carbon and resilient pathway, and agree on an ambitious mitigation work program that premises itself on staying way below two degrees Celsius while keeping one and a half degrees within reach to also deliver remarkable progress on the global goal and adaptation, thereby paving the way for a transformative adaptation which is impactful and well-resourced. And that developed countries announce new and meaningful financial pledges, including for the GCF and Adaptation Fund beyond the current level, and more importantly, ensure that 2023 is the year where the symbolic 100 billion US pledge is finally honored. Parties should also honor the pledge to double adaptation finance. All parties must work together to ensure a credible outcome that responds to the gravity of loss and damage and provide developing countries with means and resources to avert, minimize, and address loss and damage. We must all continue to develop and reinforce the normative framework and operational means needed to support a vision of a just transition that does not overlook the relevant socioeconomic variables and needs. At COP27, I encourage all of us to get it and do it right and fully.